Hey everybody, hope you're having a great day. It's a mailbag. And some of these items are just as much of a mystery to me as they will be to you. Uh, I have an idea what a few of them are. There are a few bike items and since I just did a mailbag that was all bike stuff, I'm not gonna spend a ton of time talking about it. This first one is not technically a bike item. So this is giant heat shrink tubing and its primary use is to be a grip on a fishing rod. It has a, a nice little grippy surface. And uh, But what I like to do is I like to use this stuff on bikes. When you wrap a set of bike handlebars, you normally stick a little plug like this in the end and there's a lot of different styles of them, but um, they work pretty well, but occasionally they'll get pulled out or caught on something or you'll have too much tape in there. You'll have a hard time squeezing it in right. And then the handlebars start unraveling and you can ruin 20 and $30 bar tape by having that thing just flapping in the wind and all that stuff. So what I like to do is, and it's a little hackery, but my bike is a little hackery. I like to put, you know, take about this much heat shrink and heat shrink the very, the last two inches of the handlebars and it'll kind of wrap around the, the cap and seal that in a little bit better. I had some before that was 40 millimeter and that's this stuff, uh, but it was just a tiny bit too big. And so I bought this set that was a little smaller and uh, cheaper. This came from Amazon, which I paid too much for this from Amazon, but I got the same stuff. I mean, you can tell it's the exact same stuff. I got the same stuff from AliExpress a lot cheaper. So I'll see how it works, but uh, some big old heat shrink. Next up, we've got a package that is a complete mystery to me. Let's see here. Wrapped nicely. Still don't know what it is. RGB shield. Okay, so this is... the RGB shield by the Duck Duino, the RGB Duino people. Uh, this got here really fast. Um, I have not, in fact, we still, as I'm recording this, we're still kind of going back and forth about the final winners of those five RGB Duino boards that I had. But this is a very cool looking shield. Uh, you've got one, two, three, four, five by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you have 40 uh, RGB LEDs on one shield with uh, five volts in up here, a reset button. What, what do we have up here? That is, I think that's supposed to be Mazi and Mizo, but I'm not 100% sure. And then you've got the whole shield form factor. Uh, so I'm going to do a separate video on this. We're still trying to, like I said, get some get some final things from the RGB Duino people on that giveaway. I hate making people wait on that. Uh, so we're going to get that taken care of and then I'll do a review of this board. They did send it to me for free. I wasn't really expecting it this soon. This is, uh, I think I can feel what this is. This is, goes along with the other one, this is just uh, generic cheap handlebar tape. Um, actually, this is a little bit nicer than the, the normal cheap handlebar tape. As you can see, it kind of has a little bit of a carbon fiber look to it. Uh, not much stretch to it. So the deal is I have fairly decent sized hands and I wrap my handlebars on my bike two or even three layers deep of tape. Um, just because that's what I have on there. And so I, I like to have some cheap tape to put for those lower le levels because it doesn't even really matter. So this stuff is like a buck or two on AliExpress and it does come with some of those aforementioned caps. Although those are the worst looking caps. Look at that. I mean, that is terrible looking. Right there. That is just a terrible looking finish on that thing. It looks like somebody spray painted it with crinkle silver spray paint. Uh, moving through it. Uh, I think I know what this is. If you're not subscribed to the YouTuber pile of stuff, you should be. He costs me a lot of money with his mailbag videos. Uh, his are called Mailbag Monday and they come out on Monday. Uh, but what this is, is something he got, and I didn't actually know that I had ordered these. Uh, I really liked him in his video, but what these are, are adapters for the standard two, I've got one over here, the standard 2.1 millimeter, I think it is, uh, barrel jack. And so the idea is that you can 
get all these different adapters. This is a Lenovo adapter and you can put them on the end of these to adapt it. And so for me, I've got an entire box of these power supplies and most of them are these 2.1 millimeters. Um, and so rather than trying to cut the ends off or stock every power supply amperage and voltage in a different size, then what you can do is you can buy these things relatively cheap. Uh, from eBay in America, the, it costs about seven bucks for 20 some of these. I feel like I paid four or five dollars for these from AliExpress, uh, but they are super, super handy. Uh, the one thing with this is that there's no standardization, and I, I know one of the things that's going to come up. Uh, and so what happened was I actually have over there my TV that I'm normally looking at to see what I'm filming. Here's the, the quick version of the story is I used to use Chromecast from my Pixel 2 to uh, cast over to the TV when I was recording. Well, when I was in Maryland, my Pixel 2 just randomly caught fire. So I had to switch to an iPhone, which meant that I'm using an app to cast over to a PC. And so um, I can't connect to that TV right there anymore. So I started using the pluggable dock so that I could add it as a seventh and eighth monitor over there and still use that app. Um, but what I did when I was making a video a couple of weeks ago, I had my HDMI splitter out and it had a barrel jack that was this size that would hook into my USB hub. So I would power that HDMI splitter with a five volt thing. Well, I accidentally plugged in the 15 volt uh, barrel jack connector from the uh, that Raspberry Pi tablet and the TV just let the magic smoke out. Nothing else was damaged, which I was fortunate because there's a lot of things plugged in at the time, but I absolutely let the magic smoke out of my uh, TV in this recording area. So I fried my Pixel 2 recently and my, uh, which wasn't my fault, but then the TV was 100% my fault, uh, all to the fact that these 2.1 barrel jacks are pretty universal and you have no idea if you're putting out 19 volts or 3 volts when you plug one in unless you read it. So hey, read it. Next up we have, uh, I was not trying to do an entire bike thing but I can already feel these are little cheapy uh, ferrules and the way that they work, they go on the end, I've got some sitting over here, of these cables. going to be too big for this one but it's fine um they go on the end of the cables and they're actually a very important part uh because what they do is they allow your cable to have a, a very firm thing to push up against you know these cables are uh these cable housings are really important that they stay as stiff as possible so that you can transfer as much of the energy to the cable itself and so uh these things are generally <laughs> dropped these things are generally in short supply and they come in a few different sizes and i think i paid a buck for uh, 50 or 100 of these things uh so these are some little ferrules uh ferrules all right next up we have a package from amazon this is uh some shimano 10 speed chain uh, a little nerdy thing that I'm sure most of you guys don't care about, but I uh, I still run a triple on my bike. I run uh, three chain rings up front and ten in the back for a total of 30 speeds, um, which is pretty rare. In fact, the uh, the series I have is Altegra, and it's the last triple that you can buy in a real like racing. Uh, set and I did a lot of nerdy stuff and calculated out all the gears and uh, I actually have I think 29 maybe even all 30 are unique gearing ratios um, again if somebody's ridden the bike across the country I'm used to doing a lot more mountains and things like that and just having the variety when I was pulling a trailer uh, behind my bike really helped um, my set is actually what they call Tegra 6700 but because of the triple uh you've got your your set isn't as lined up as you know if you only had two to step i've got to go middle left and right and so um i need this special kind of chain for my bike there's a lot of different versions of this tool but uh this is a cheaper one by spin doctor and i'm gonna get grease all over me uh this is a, a really trash chain i drive or i ride in a 
in a terrible area for uh, for dirt and stuff like that. So this chain is just disgustingly filthy. But there's this thing that as you push this in, the further this goes down, the more worn the chain is. Um, this one isn't isn't too too bad, but because I ride in an area that just has a ton of grit. Um, and rain, there's not really a lot of good options for me. Like if the, most of the dry lubes that you'd put on there, uh, would wash off the second they got wet and most of the wet stuff attracts dirt. So, uh, kind of in this catch 22 and the thing with the chain is it touches the whole rest of your drive chain. So like train, so like as you, as your chain wears, you start to wear out the other components more. So, um, it's one of those things where you should change your chain as it starts getting wear so that you don't tear up the more expensive components because I think that chain was like maybe 30 bucks, maybe 25 bucks. Um, so yeah, cheap maintenance overall, especially compared to the whole rest of the drive system. And the last bike item is in this package. Unfortunately, when I opened it, I uh, showed my address. So here, we're just gonna pretend we're gonna cut it again. There we go, and I'm gonna reach in. And this time I'm not gonna show my address. It's bike cables. And uh, these are not the cheapest bike cables on the market. They are 30 bucks-ish a set. And this is for uh, brakes and this is for shifting. And uh, there's two cables per set and they include the housing. Um, I don't always replace the housing when I replace the cables, but uh, my bike is due. My bike is 14 years old and uh, it's probably been six or seven years since I've done the housing and everything. So it's it's time. Um, it's getting a little little rusty, a little worse for wear. So I've got a set of these Walmart cables and housings over here. And, you know, for all intents and purposes, they look exactly like this. But the problem is, is that the, the cable and the housing and these little ferrules, these little things on the end here are all a system. And they're all made to work together. And when they work together well, uh, it makes a big difference. Now picture this, imagine this is a brake cable and when you're pushing on, when you're pulling this tight, it's pulling up against this little ferrule and you don't want this cable to collapse. You don't want this housing to collapse. You need it to be really strong because the more that this is actually collapsing, the less responsive your brakes are going to be or the less responsive your shifting is going to be. And I mentioned it again, like people buy bikes from Walmart and they think, man, the guy who put this bike together must have been an idiot. And maybe he is. But when you have these Walmart cables, you can get a bike shifting perfectly. I can have it on the stand. I can have it absolutely perfect and I can leave it overnight or over the weekend and come back and it won't shift. And that's because these cheap cables stretch. And so the difference is that in these, they're just better quality. It's just a better quality piece of equipment. These are stainless steel cables and they're good quality housing and good quality ferrules and instructions and parts and all that kind of stuff. And unless you want to spend time fiddling with the bike, buy some quality parts. And uh, so my other one had, I tend to like to do red for the brakes and uh, black for the shifting, but they didn't have those in stock. So I went the opposite way and uh, right now my cables are, are all black. So kind of be nice to dress it up a little bit. I'll have a little bit of a, a flare on it with my red shift cables and my black brake cables. And I'll put these on and hopefully I will be shifting as good as new. So anyway, thanks for sticking through a mailbag video that was about bikes and fitness and stuff like that. I hope you have a wonderful day. Stay safe out there and get away from the computer and ride a little bit. Have a great day.